Eastern Bloc swimming very strong indeed. This brings us on to the next race, the men's 400 meters freestyle S6. And well, this one is going to be very tight. In the middle lanes, Glock, McDonald, Granichka and Bocciado. All very close indeed. Pretty much a tactical race, Paul. The swimmers come out of the tunnel there. We had two good heats this morning, two close contests at the front of those two heats, Darren McDonald and Andre Granichka. They kind of paced each other through. And similar situation for Talis and Glock and Francesco Bocchiardo. Nelson Crispin, medalist in the last World Championships for Colombia. Vyacheslav Lenski from Russia. He's in lane number two. Talison Glock, well, can he do something from lane number three? He's certainly going to be there or thereabouts at the medals. Darren McDonald, the Paralympic champion from Ireland. And he was pushed all the way by Andrei Granichka this morning in the heats. Andrei Granichka, I think I had a little bit left. We see him strong in the closing stages. Francesco Bocchiardo, well, he's top of the world rankings this year. Reagan Wickens in lane number seven from Australia. And Hamish McLean from New Zealand. He goes in lane number eight. And Giles, I think we're going to be in for quite a close contest here. Those middle four lanes, not much to choose between them. Bocchiardo has got the fastest time this year, but the, the international event pedigree is really Darren McDonald from Ireland in lane number four. Granichka, well, a bit of an unknown quantity, the 18-year-old from Russia. Well, a mixed combination of starting styles there. Start, expect to see them start to even out as the race goes on. McDonald of Ireland, I thought, had to work pretty hard for his lane four position during the heats. Tends to really have one pace. Starts and finishes uh, in a very, very even style. I thought that Glock in lane three swam a very strategic race in the heats indeed. And on paper, Bocciado of Italy, well, he is the fastest in the world this year by some considerable distance. On the 27th of June, went 5.01, some 12 seconds quicker than the next quickest man in the world. That's not, not that, that long ago. That's not that long ago at all. But the field pretty flat. At the moment, Dara McDonald may be just edging ahead with Granichka going with him. And it is Lane 6 who does well. Bocciado does very well around the wall. Got quite a twitchy style, Paul. That's a, a result of the kind of disability that he's got. But his hips are very, very high indeed. And, well, maybe that world ranking time that he posted earlier in the year this is where we're going to see the class of this man begin to pay out yeah he certainly looks in good shape at the moment Bocchiardo has opened up big lead he was actually second at the 100 mark but as he moves into that second 100 he's opened up a gap of some two seconds and perhaps quite a gap ahead of Kronichka this event of course was dominated by the Swede Anders Olsen for many years. Anders Olsen, of course, retired after the Paralympic Games in uh, London in 2012. And Darren McDonald finished ahead of the Swede on that occasion. Shock win, McDonald. I think it was. It was indeed. We all thought Anders Olsen was going to take that, but Darren McDonald took Ireland's first gold medal at the Paralympics since Dave Malone won in Sydney in 2000. The field is starting to spread out now. Durham McDonald looks as if, well, unless things change 
he's going to be uh, scrapping it out for bronze, but this is the leader, Francesco Bocciardo of Italy. And you can see the lead that he's opening up there. Part of the success that he's having in this freestyle is down to his body position. He keeps his hips very high, and what that means is that his body's in a flatter line. It means that he's creating far less drag, which means that the power that is being generated by his arms is much more of it is being used to push him forward. If you look at when we get a wider shot, if you look at some of the other swimmers, they tend to spend a bit more time going up and down rather than going forward. Each of those movements all costs time. As he comes now to the 300 meter mark. We have seen, of course, the Italians have uh, a number of swimmers who are very, very good technically. Ariel Trimia, I remember last year, absolutely rock solid on the freestyle. So I just wonder if uh, is from uh, the same coaching stable as Aliola Trimi. They have gone through the 300 mark and Bocchiardo is opening up a very big advantage. I'm not sure if anyone is going to be able to challenge him on the last 100. Granichka maybe is the most likely and Darren McDonald ahead of Talison Glock holding on to bronze medal position. But Bocchiardo looking supreme at the moment, Giles. He is. Granichka has managed to claw back a bit of ground against him. Granichka also got a good body position, hands go into the water nice and cleanly, he rolls over now and it's very smooth around the wall, but it's Bocciardo, even with that slightly stuttering, stuttering stroke that he's got, because the hands go into the water nice and cleanly, it's helping him to maintain this lead, but they're coming back on him now, Paul. They are indeed, they're coming back, and especially Andre Granishka, the long-time leader, Bocciardo, He's taken it by two one hundredths of a second. It's gold to Italy. What a comeback for Granichka. Two one hundredths he missed out by. He takes the silver, and Dara McDonald will take the bronze for Ireland. But what a finish for Granichka. We thought that Bocchiardo had it absolutely in the bag, but my goodness, where did Granichka come from? Well, he sat back, sat back, and sat back, didn't he? Conserving his energy, making sure that that body position, which we talked so much about. Well, he, uh, I don't know, during the race, because I think he was breathing, looking to uh, looking to our side of the pool, away from uh, Granishka. I don't think he quite realised, perhaps, how close that came. But, uh, well, Granishka, another five metres, he would have had him. Well, another metre he would have had him, another half a metre. McDonald wins an Irish medal again, again he's on the medal podium. And we're pleased, the Irish supporters here. And Bocchiardo there, there's the finish. Granishka finishing so much stronger. Bocchiardo holding on. Oh, and you just couldn't split them. You couldn't split them there. Couldn't split them. Here it is in super slow motion. Well, Granitschka's head position was much better, as we saw with Ellie Cole in the backstroke. Having a still head position in swimming, so important. But in the end, Bocchiardo, well, he got away with it. I don't know if he'll get away with it again next year. Bocchiardo takes the goal for Italy by two one-hundredths of a second with Granitschka and McDonald.